I'm the Five Minute Professor, and today's short lesson only touches very briefly on an exciting place, Antarctica. Uh, now, when we talk about explorers discovering things, a lot of times they also discovered the people that were living there when they discovered it. So that's not discovery. Um, look, here I am. I'm in the parking lot at the Post Time Lounge. I cannot discover the Post Time Lounge. It's here already. Columbus did not discover a country with people living in it because they were already here. So therefore they had discovered it. But Antarctica is different. We legitimately discovered Antarctica. We theorized that there may be a landmass at the southern part of the, the, the planet. Uh, Aristotle, uh, that, that a lot of Greek philosophers and scientists, Aristophanes, believed that there probably was some big landmass. They just didn't know what it was or where it was. And they finally found it in 1820. Three different explorers managed to find it within months of each other. First landfall was probably, but not definitely, 1821 by a seal hunter. It's the first time anyone set foot on Antarctica. So today, Antarctica has existed for fewer than 200 years to any of our knowledge. So we know very little about it. But back in 2012, Russian scientists managed to drill down to the largest lake in Antarctica, it is Lake Vostok, and it is under two miles of ice. They drilled down through two miles of ice to get to this pristine lake and, and immediately uh, mixed it with the the antifreeze they were using to drill. But, I mean, hey, forget about that. Uh, they, they managed to drill back down in a better way and kept the water pristine. This is water which may not have been exposed to the outside air for millennia. It is Lake Vostok, this lake on Antarctica, is larger by volume than any of the lakes in Europe, larger than any of the lakes in South America, larger than any lake in Australia, and it is under two miles of ice in Antarctica. Also, Antarctica's highest peak is the Vinson Massif, and that's M-A-S-S-I-F, and it is named for Carl Vinson, who also has a, a carrier name for him, the Carl Vinson is named for him as well, a longtime congressman who actually was responsible for the mission uh, where they discovered this tallest mountain and in Antarctica in the 1980s. Perceptum, quispium, damnatium. Learn something, damn it. I'm the 5-Minute Professor, and thank you very much for listening to today's lesson. If you have any comments at all, please put them in the comments section down below. And of course, like it and subscribe to the channel. But most important, if you liked it, if you commented, and if you subscribed, tell your friends. Perceptum, quispium, damnitium. Learn something, damn it.